now we are going to continue with a short introduction of wall tool. Uh, that is actually the first one under design tools. So uh, this is the most primal linear element in ArchiCAD. If, we, if you click on the wall tool, it will open up this settings. And in here we have some geometry methods that are different than uh, mesh or, or slab because these uh, these uh, this is linear element and that that are planar elements. So for linear element, we have a single line. We have a longer line that uh, that is like an outline. We can create a square order or rectangle by first and the last point, and we can create a we can create yeah I will show you uh, this is the single wall with the more more complex we can actually create the whole outline and by clicking on the last point it will close up then the square or rectangle and the last one is that rotated rectangle. Okay. Then you have also some cir circular option because uh, sometimes you also need the circular walls. So first you set up the radius, then you set up how much of the wall you want you want to see, or you can create by three points. So that means. So something like this and the first point that you click is going to be also first point of your of your circle so I can close like this and then you have this kind of option that offers you the possibility to work with the wall also okay For some reason not as effective as it should be. You can edit uh, this outline, as I will show this uh, later in a ground floor. Okay, uh, let's let's check the ground floor. Okay, here you can see we have all of these all of these walls, and uh, yes, we will check the settings of the wall. So wall is, as I told you already, it's an element that is uh, that connects the first point and the second point, or in this option of creating more walls at the same time, creating uh, multiple uh, connecting multiple points. You can imagine uh, that what Archicad actually sees is is the blue line. And that was the first place where we click and the last place when we click. So what actually happens in here is that I will check in 3D. Okay. And what actually happens in here is that this blue line is right now set up for core outside. This blue line is our reference line. This is the line that we uh, designed and all of the other things are only parameters. So if I change this core outside to uh, for example inside face, inside face, you see that my wall changed the position but the reference line is still the same and that is why it's very important to know where you want to place the reference line because you can change the you can change uh, the wall anytime even all the walls but for example if you set up this on the inside face then you know that if you change the wall it's gonna grow on the outside if you're gonna put this on the outside face and you said that, uh, and you change the thickness of the wall, then it's going to grow on the inside. So uh, this is actually a very, very important stuff that 
uh, that we have in here and I will I will change from this to a more complex wall okay um, and now I will show you if I can zoom correctly that even this core insight and inside face is a different option core insight means that Archicad recognizes these materials and these uh, this for example is a structural material and this is a plaster plaster is not a structural thing so it's not the core of the wall so if I set it up for core inside it's gonna be at the inside part of our core part of the wall if I set it for inside phase you see that uh, it moved on the inside that means on the plaster so structurally you probably when you create a building you will use this core insight and you will define the inside wall of the structure a uh, structure of the wall and then if you change uh, for example insulation or anything it will grow outside from this core of the wall okay we go back to settings so we we can see what we have in here uh, what we need to do and what you always need to do is that uh, you should use the full capacities of BIM and uh, one of that is that wall is linked is linked to a home story that is the base and wall top what does it mean that uh, right now I cannot change the height in here because it's linked so I can change the offset from from the story so I can say that it's gonna be from the story above minus 200 and you're gonna see that it recalculated the wall height why uh, why is this important is uh, this is important because uh, if I change later right now as you can see the wall is three uh, three meters but if I change later the story settings for example, I will change later in my project uh, ground floor to 3500 and click OK. You see my wall was recalculated and now if I check, it's 3500 because it is offset from the another story zero and I changed the height of, uh, of the ground floor. So that, it, that is why you should, you should always link the wall if it's possible if it's not some uh, artistic uh, outside standing wall that has to be uh, like the specific dimension or so but that is not most of the cases so I will change this just back and we can finish with the wall uh, yeah then you have in here three options either you go for structure basic and we're gonna do for do this right now uh, or you pick from the composites that are preset in here later in our course we will we will create our own composite of wall or you can change uh, to a custom wall that is for very specific uh, very specific cases okay so I will check for the basic one I will say it's gonna be structural and then you have some geometry methods then you can also change now you can change the wall thickness if if i switch back to composite you cannot change the wall thickness and that is because the composite is already set up so you can change the composite but you will find uh, this option later so i will just set that this is gonna be three oh, maybe since it's a fortification wall it's gonna be thicker and yeah why not why not even more and in here you can set up the position of the reference line and you can uh, you can flip I will show you you can flip the wall along the reference line if uh, if so, if there is any problem uh, with this uh, basic option but also with the composite option you can 
also set up the offset of the reference line. In some cases you will do this, so even uh, with the composite wall maybe you uh, will not need the core inside option, but you want to offset even from the core inside. You can do this in here, so I will just click OK it's back and now if I offset this for 100 you will see that our blue line is gonna stay at the same time but our wall is gonna uh, at the same place but the, our wall is gonna move 100 uh, in this direction because I offset this okay zero then you have uh, you have here the options how our wall is gonna be uh, look and uh, you already know these settings from uh, other tools, so I'm not gonna do them right now. I will just uh, change this uh, model, so I will override the surfaces, and I will override the surfaces to titanium white. And that is more or less what you need to know so far about the wall. If I click OK, I have the white wall, and by Alt, I will, I will get uh, all of these, all of the parameters. And right now, what I can do is, if I have selected a wall, I can try to find the spline with the spacebar. And by clicking, you can see that I can create the fortifications. If I want to make the forti fortifications on the higher spline. I can, but as you can see, our walls are actually created partially in the hill, and that is because uh, they are still set up uh, set up uh, differently. But uh, yeah, how can we resolve this problem? Uh, what we need to do is that we need to select uh, the same walls for that we would use uh, this tool that is called find and select and since this moment on we are gonna use this so you can uh, learn this not by just explaining but also by seeing so what I just did is that I click in here copy settings and now uh, you can see that my element type criteria is wall I, I can add more criteria, so I will add the criteria to uh, material, building material. I will add this, general, generic structural, and I will add also the surface paint light gray. Okay, I will try to click on the plus sign right now and yeah it's still not not the best selection so I need to so I need to change this a bit okay what I have specific in here over its surface is mm -mm. Mm. okay so I figured that since all of the walls have now uh, the same parameters I will just delete the other ones that I don't need and this is gonna be the fastest option and now if I select I will select only these walls okay and what can I do just now is that I can I can uh, say that it's gonna be linked to home story and on home story it's gonna be zero but uh, it's gonna not be linked uh, with the other story and I will say that it's gonna be six meters wall okay now I see that some somewhere it fits better somewhere it fits worse and here for example I have still a hole what can I do this that I will change the settings and I will offset this to my home story to top two meters and still not enough a bit more I will say minus 3 meters 
Okay. Okay, now I have a bit of a fortifications. But my problem is that it is not it is not on the same height actually because we created this one to fit user ridges. So what can I do is that I will copy these. I will create the walls outside and I can delete the inner walls. No. I can copy these. I will select all of the walls, delete, and now I will create. Okay, so now you could see that uh, yeah, there are many different options and ways how to work with Archicad. And uh, in the next short video, I will just show you uh, the empty wall opening and that is an empty door and empty window.